The Earth is an enclosed plane, centered at the North Pole and bounded along its outward edge by a wall of ice, with the Sun, Moon, planets, and stars only about 3,000 miles above the surface of the Earth, 4,800 kilometers, and the glass firmament at about 3,100 miles, 5,000 kilometers, only about 100 miles away from the Sun and Moon. Professor Picard and his Flat Earth Discovery In 1931, Professor Auguste Picard, a physicist, inventor and explorer, took the first ever balloon flight high above the Earth to the stratosphere. In his pressurized aluminium gondola, he reached 51,775 feet, about 10 miles in altitude, in his word he said. It seemed a flat disk with upturned edges. This discovery has been omitted from our education system. This is his story. This is a dull metal gondola which will bring us into the stratosphere. We are going to be lifted up there by Linda Hydrogen. That hydrogen will lift us in a place where nobody can breathe and live. But inside we'll have Linda Oxygen which makes good but the hydrogen expands and makes a very comfortable living place for us. Here I would like to show you inside but there are too, too many people. I couldn't all bring you to the gondola. There are little space. Just enough space for Lieutenant Commander Peppers, the pilot and me was going to do the job in possible But I can show a little bit about it. Here is the thing on which the gondola hung. Here is the rope to which it connects the offering. This here is a roof garden. We want to turn fresh air we can go into here as long as we are still in the lower air. And then when we go in the stratosphere, we close here, you can't meet the cover, please. Thank you. This here is the down metal. Oh, I'm sorry for the noise. This here is the down metal cover, you see, very light. That will come inside, and another one similar will come outside. You take that again, And then everything is closed, then we go into the stratosphere, and we do there our work on cosmic rays. Already? Professor Picard, we are very glad to uh, present you for the Uni Parfide and Carbon Corporation with the hydrogen for your expedition. We believe and are sure that the Lindy Company has made the purest hydrogen that has ever been produced. Whilst we were sweltering in the heat wave, he was nearly frozen to death in 15 degrees centigrade below zero. After being aloft for over 12 hours, he eventually landed near Lake Garda in Italy. From the practical point of view, Professor Picard's experiment is of the highest possible importance. And one of the things it will definitely do will be to enable better weather forecasts to be made. We were on the scene as soon as the Austrian Alpine troops you now see on their way to the glacier to recover the envelope and gondola in which the intrepid professors had made a perfect landing. After their amazing air voyage, just imagine, twice as high as Mount Everest, the biggest mountain in the world, 
The gondola, only six foot seven in diameter, you'll notice is half black one side and half silver the other. Serene and calm, the professor walks down to the village to enjoy a hearty breakfast. When too warm, the bright side was turned to the sun. When too cold, the black. Dr. Kipler was overjoyed as he handed out each of the many instruments, all in perfect order and recording highly scientific discoveries of the utmost importance.